I wanted to make sure that you guys get that foundation. I don't want to be redundant or boring or anything like that, but you need to understand how money works in general and how the U.S. dollar works so that the rest of the conversation that we're going to go into crypto specifically makes more sense. Yeah. Um, so the Fed's going to introduce, uh, increase interest rates. And right. then was there anything else you, you in, in about eight days? They're going to have a meeting. Yeah, on the 12th to the 14th of this month, they're going to have a meeting. They're going to increase the rates. And it's more of just a guess of like, is it going to be 25 basis points or 50? Yeah. I'm still leaning for 50 because what's here, here they're in the, they're on a really tight schedule is – that if let's just say they're, they're going to increase the rates by 50 by 50 basis points then there's there's a really really big event that happens in november which kind of is kind of why they're a little nervous as well is you have the midterms so you have everybody essentially trying to get their jobs back which is for the senate and the house of representatives mm -hmm. and right now it, it really looks like the democrats kind of fucked up real badly and they're and it looks like they're about to get sweeped by the republicans so it's this whole thing where you, they're going to have them just because of political is Trump pressure run Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's just going to be crazy. I'm about to come out of retirement and vote. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> but it's going to be this entire. So there's this whole thing where, like, you know, the politicians are going to juice this market up mm -hmm. because, like, if, if like, you imagine if we're like full, like, because what happens is after after um, after June ends. So yeah. around, you know, July 1st, you know, once that once that month ends, the 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 quarter two numbers come out. And once the quarter two month numbers come out, if the number if we have a negative GDP growth, that means like the overall domestic product of the United States. That means like we're just we're actually losing money now or we're contracting. Yeah. If that goes down for, on this next report, then we're technically in a recession. Yeah, because we've already last quarter we, 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 we went, went down. down. Yeah. Yeah. The, the economy was actually regressing versus progressing. Um, uh, it's, OK, so so technically with two with two GDP cycles of regression, it, it means basically we're officially in a recession. Correct. Yeah. So okay. that's really because and then there's some people that said it's priced in this like that's the same thing bullshit, because what will happen is it, it, if that does happen. Right. Because I personally think they're going to juice the numbers. Mm -hmm. That they're gonna they're gonna find some way to collect like, like this whole thing about the unemployment rate being at whatever three percent, but because what ends up happening with the with the with the unemployment rate is that when you have the what they're what they're not counting is people who who like are looking for work and if they look for work and look for work and never get a job, then they get eventually counted out of the unemployment rate. Oh, what? yeah, yeah. Look it up. Look at it. it's crazy. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. If, if if you don't find like you're out there looking for a job and you don't get a job, eventually they just stop counting you. For like unemployed, yeah, like you're, you're so Pookie and Ray Ray keep getting denied for that same goddamn job at Walmart. And now they can't, they, they're, they're taking out the workforce completely. Pretty, pretty much, yeah. They're not count, <laughs> they're not counted in the numbers. Okay, it, which is which is kind of crazy. And th so there, there is much more unemployment than people think. And also too, you know, a lot of people have kind of bullshit. It's you know, it's kind of like like fake entrepreneur jobs and stuff. Yeah, like, like like you know, Girls I that come on the show. <laughs> 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 but um, th so that's that's pretty much what's going on. So they, that's one way they can kind of juice the numbers and make it look like it's not as bad as if it's kind of happening. Mm -hmm. And that's maybe one way to kind of stave it off from saying recession, because at the same time, they don't want to have recession, 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 because then all the guys in November when they're getting elected, like, oh, you guys fucked up. Yeah. So half of them are going to get like, yeah, slashed out of their jobs and stuff. And so it's a sort of thing. So. But let's just say we do end up getting that. So it's like they're gonna they're gonna increase rates because they have to because they do have to get inflation under control. Yeah, inflation's starting to get it's it's crazy. You know, gas. I mean, in in, like, in California, it's like seven to ten dollars for gas. Yeah, yeah. In Cal, in Cal, <laughs> Someone sent me a picture eight dollar gas in in California right now. Uh, I filled up a tank. We're almost at seven here in Miami. Uh, well, for, uh, for diesel, diesel. It was five seventy nine, and then yeah. uh, five fifteen for regular. Imagine buying a Hummer in these times. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a bummer! Yo, yeah, well, what is it? Two thousand four, bro. Um. So, um. So, and then we have another meeting uh, with the Fed uh, on in July, right? Yeah. So, so one in June, one July. One in June and July. So it's sort of they'll increase rates there. I think that they won't be able, they really won't be able to increase it anymore after that because the market's going to start kind of like getting like shivers and really start going down. Okay. But if they, it's it's sort of like they have to get their, whatever increases they can get in, they got to get them in this year because they will not be able to do them later on in the year. Cause, yeah. Because with that political pressure right there, they're going to be on their ass. And then like, there's this whole thing where they're not political and everything, but of course they are. That, that's, yeah. uh, you know, that Miguel, you brought a fuck. I didn't even fucking think about this shit that, that in November is going to be the fucking, you know, voting heat time. So like, yes, it's in their best incentive to get inflation under control. So the Democrats can go ahead yep. and I don't pay attention to politics. I don't give a fuck, but you guys should pay attention to politics when, uh, when, when we're in a situation like this, where it affects us the money markets. Okay. Yeah. Especially if you're in, in crypto stocks, etc. because the politics does affect, I mean, hell interest. I don't know if you guys remember this, um, interest rates when when the F uh, Fed announced that they were going to increase interest rates, the fucking market tanked. That's when we began yeah. this issue. This one when the market started to tank was at the end of last year. Was when they said, "Oh, we're going to increase interest rates," and then bam, stock market started going crazy. It started being volatile, crypto markets, and then when January hit, 
and we hit into the new year of 2022, that's when everything like really started crashing. And we've been negative on the stock market the past like seven, eight weeks. The power of a update, a news update going out there can change the tide of things. It's just crazy. Yeah. Yeah. 